Hello and welcome to the UAP Customers webinar series. In this episode, we'll be looking at door hardware for composite doors. So handles, it's a device fitted to the door to allow opening and closing and operation of the locking mechanism. The UAP range of handles that is suitable for composite doors include a high security handle and standard security front door handles with two 19 millimeter and two 43 millimeter back plates. We also have a DDA compliant front door handle. So pull handles are items used to open and close a door. When designing the UAP pull handles, we consulted with several door manufacturers during the design process to ensure that our pull handles met the desired specifications. The first thing that we decided to do was to make each pull handle from a 1.5 mil thick, 316 grade stainless steel. And, part, and now they're part of the UAP Nanocoast range of products, which can be used at any location. However, they're specifically designed for areas which are within a 25 mile radius of the coast or within five miles of highly populated industrial areas. Each pull handle has been salt spray tested and comes with a lifetime coating guarantee as the pull handle will not pit, rust or corrode. We then made the pull handles to have a much sturdier construction with a 38 mil diameter. This makes it much easier to grip the handle, especially for people who've got arthritis or limited hand movement. So it's a really robust type of bar. But what also makes this pull handle stand out is the three different fixing methods that we have available. So there's hidden fixings or a bolt through or back to back fixings. So due to these fixing methods, the customers could have an option of sending the door out to site without the pull handles on to prevent damage in transit or on site. The door is simply sent out with the fixings on and the installation could be completed on site. So some terms used in reference to composite doors and handles is centers, which is the measurement between the two points. For example, the distance between the middle of the center case to the middle of the locking points that lock or PZ, which is another term used, which is the distance from the center of the spindle to the center of the cylinder, the central case, uh, measured vertically. And a very handy measurement guide um, here, as you can see, it's labeled A through to D, and they denote where the measurements should be taken for each of those descriptions um, to ensure an accurate measurement for your handle. So for an example, you can see D there with the overall back plate length, um, and you can see where you would need to measure for. So the back set or back plate of a lock, this is a measurement from the edge of the lock to the center of the cylinder measured horizontally. Short or long back plates denote the length of the plate on which the lever handles are fitted. So UAP short back plate handles are 219 mil long and the long back plate handles are 243 mil. And here we can see some hinges. So varying types of hinges are used with composite doors, but the two most common types are butt hinges and adjustable composite hinges. So a butt hinge is generally non-adjustable, so fixed. And then the adjustable composite hinges, as the name suggests, are adjustable. And they're hinges that you could adjust in either two or three places, known commonly as a 2D or a 3D hinge. So the three types of adjustments are for compression, which allows movement away or um, closer to the frame seal. Vertically allows for a vertical adjustment to raise or lower the door leaf. And then laterally allows for horizontal movement of the leaf within the frame. But if a door is correctly manufactured and installed, only very minor adjustments should be necessary, if any adjustments at all. So let's move on to the letter plate or what's most commonly known um, by general members of the public as a letterbox which is the device through which the mail is posted, um, consists of a rectangular aperture covered by a flap or flaps, and it's fitted through the door leaf. A standard letter plate opens fully, allowing maximum opening for post and small parcels. However, it does also allow the opportunity for an offender to insert something through the letter plate to access the lock or cylinder, or even to use um, an implement to hook keys that could be left within reach. So a TS008 letter plate, um, why would you use it and how does it differ from the standard letter plate? 
Well, it has a restricted opening to protect against such key phishing and lock manipulation that I talked about in the previous slide. And a TS008 letter plate is mandatory should you want to comply with the PAS24 security standard. A restrictor or a stay is a device fitted to the top of a door that prevents it from opening beyond a certain degree. It's usually used to prevent the door being damaged by an impact with the building, maybe high winds or a high traffic area. And you can get window and door restrictors. On windows, they're often used on upper floors or tower blocks to prevent accidents. A door closer. So a closer is fitted or is it defined as a mechanical device that is cl to, that closes a door in a controlled manner. So it prevents it from slamming. And a door closer, as you can see a, a few examples here, is a very essential component for a fire door, which we will cover in the fire door module. So an eye viewer or a spy hole. This um, can also be called a door viewer. It's a small opening right through the door leaf, allowing the viewer to look from the inside to the outside. In a door, it's usually for apartments or hotel rooms, um, enabling the occupant to see outside without opening their door. And finally, in this series, this is um, one of our doorknobs, which is an item used to open and close the door in conjunction with a lock. And the UAP doorknob has a very contemporary design. It's been produced to a very high standard and has high quality hidden fixings. So it means that the internal fixings are not visible, creating a much cleaner and smoother look on the inside of the door. So thank you very much for watching episode three in the series of composite door webinars. Up next will be a timber doors webinar series.